So, um, good evening, everybody. I'm very happy to be here with you. Uh, this is one of my favorite topics. Because it actually changed my life, too. Because before I knew about this, even though I was a therapist, I would be I would get oh uh, I would complain a lot I would get sad a lot and depressed uh, when I felt bad I thought oh I just have to feel bad until bad goes away and then I had to study this project to teach it to teachers. And so I learned more about it and I tried the ideas and they've really helped me. But first of all, we need to think about what are emotions. There are actually ways for us to connect with one another. The Apostle Paul says, be happy with those who are happy and sad with those who are sad. Because when someone um, engages in the same emotions as us, we feel close to them. Emotions are also our natural responses to living in this world. Some things make us happy, some things make us really sad and angry. Uh, and we experience all kinds of emotions every day. Emotions are also information from our body to our brain. To help us respond well in any situation. Because when we have lost something, it's normal to feel sad. Or if we're afraid, it's, it's a sign to our body to run away. So we have what we call negative and positive emotions. Negative doesn't mean they're bad. They are the ones that drain the energy out of us. So it's like taking our energy at, into a negative uh, number. And positive emotions fill us up. And when we have a good balance, that helps us to really flourish in life. So emotions are not good or bad. They just happen. 
Our body is made to experience emotion. But the special insight this emotional balance gives me. Uh, pardon me? Uh, emotional balance gives me a special insight. Or balancimi emotioneve ni de shume thel shume bur. Because for the first time I learned I could choose an emotion. Se aty un mesova per herte parche munda perdor emotione te mia. So even though my body says here this is a sad situation. Edhe kur trupi im me thot, o, kjo është një situate shumë e trishtueshme. And I can feel sad because I have lost someone I love. Dhe kur jam e trishtuar se e kam për, e kam humbur di kë që e kam dash. Even in that sad time, I can still choose to be happy or to experience wonder or be grateful. Edhe nëse dje me trishtuar u mund të zgjiez, ta dje më mirë. So I could feel sad because I've lost someone I love. Pra mund të dje me trishtuar kur e kam pungur dike njëri është të shtrenjë. But I don't just have to feel sad, I can feel other things too. Por nuk duhet të për... Ka nevoj që të përqëndrojmë vetëm të trishtimi dhe mërzitje, mund të ndjej edhe emocionet e tjera bashkë me trishtimi. In that sadness, I can still be thankful, I can still laugh, I can still be... Pra, mund të jeme trishtuar, por akoma mund të ndjej edhe mirë njohin, edhe ndjej dashuri. So emotions are not something to be shamed about. Edhe emocionet nuk janë diçka që ne duhet të ndjeme turp rrësë në të tyre. They're just really normal. Janë normale. No, not good or bad. As mjera as të keqia. But we can learn how to choose positive emotions that help us to feel better. Por ne mund të mesojme se si të zgjezim ndjenja pozitive në mënyrë që ndjehem më mirë. So... Let's think about why emotional balance is so important. Because life is like the ocean. And we go up and down on the waves. If we have lots of negative emotion, it's like lots of weight in the boat. Êshtë si kur kemi një nga rkeste madhe në varkën tonë. And your boat sinks in the water a bit. Dhe anë kjo varka jonë si kur një qik bytet në nuj. And the water may come over the side. Dhe dhe vjen uji nga gjitha anët. And it's not such a nice ride. Edhe kjo nuk është një gjë për të shijuar. But the positive emotions are like wind in the sails of the boat. Kurse emocion pozitive janë si era në vela tona. And they help us to ride over the ups and downs. Që në dimon të kalojme në për këto dagat të lartë e poshtë. And to enjoy the ride more. Edhe kjo në dimon edhe madje të shiojme këte uzëtim. So... Positive emotions help us to learn well. Pra, emocionet pozitive na dimojnë e ta mesojme më mirë. Children learn better in school when they are experiencing more positive emotions. Femijet në shkoll mesojnë më mirë kur janë bushur me emocione pozitive. Because they open our brain and free it to learn. Sepse atëherë ata hapin mëndjen për të mesuar. But lots of negative emotions shut it down. Kurse emocionet pozitive e mbyll kanalit mësimit. Because the pain is so big, we can't really think properly. Sepse djenjet janë ashtë dhimshme që 
nuk as nuk ka dëshirë për të menduar për diçka tjetër. So positive emotions help us to be resilient in life. Gjithashtu emocionet pozitive na dimojme që ta uh, jemi të forte për të rritur të rritur veten. To recover from stress. Ta marim veten pas stresit. And to, to love others well, have healthier relationships. So most people have a ratio of two to one positive to negative emotions. And when I first heard that, I thought, sounds pretty good to me. But we actually do better when we have at least three to one positive to negative emotion. And how we measure this is how much of uh, an emotion do we feel in the day. So I will talk today about 20 different emotions. And for each one of those, you can think, how much of this did I feel today? Dhe pastaj uh, duhet a, um, analizojme se qfar kam uh, djerë prej këtyre emocioneve sot. And you can work out on this website, positivityratio.com, what your balance is. It's a very... Dhe, dhe qose shkoni të kjo, kjo adresa? So uh, did you experience none, a little or a lot of the emotion? Uh, atje është matë si ku mund të bëni këtë si, si një test, uh, si e keni proporcion. But quite often we can tell at the end of the day whether we feel burdened or whether we feel great. Uh, it's, a, it's good to measure, you said, yeah? It's a good measure, but we can often tell in ourselves, oh, mm -hmm. I feel... Uh, por, sa kunisht ne mund të tregojme vet <laughs> atë ratë proporcionin, sepse ne kjo dikon shumë se si diemi, diemi shumë mirë apo diemi mërzitur. So let's think about negative emotions and get them finished with. Uh, Leta marim pikse pari e tot negativet ta, ta përfundojme pas da po, pozitivet. So these are the 10 most common negative emotions. Pra, këto janë emocionet negative më të përhapun me të njohur. And I will just talk a little bit about each one. But some of these negative emotions are really useful for us. It's part of the of loss and grief to be a while. And as I mentioned before, fear can be useful to protect you from danger. So we all know what anger is. And, uh, and that, that sense of, oh, I want to fight back. Uh, and one, one more time. And a sense of displeasure and hostility. We want to fight back. And when someone's angry, it's helpful if a child is angry to help them calm down. Uh, the nechose uh, di, di so so listen to them um speak calmly to them help them to uh, 
duhet ta digjojme, të qa ka për të thënë, duhet ta flasim me nga dal, me qëtësi. Help them to find solutions for their problem. Edhe duhet ta kërkojme, dimojnë ta kërkojme shgjizje për atë problem. And anger is what we call a secondary emotion. We usually feel another thing first, and then we get angry. So ask about the situation and find out what the primary emotion is first. For example, we sometimes are angry because we are sad or afraid or frustrated. So it's important to understand the primary emotion and deal with that one. So contempt is a really bad emotion for us, for our health. It's very bad for us to look down on others and think we are superior. So look at others as, as special as you are. We are all equally human. So disgust is when things taste or smell or look horrible. And that's there to protect us from eating and things that are going to be bad for us. Or getting close to things that could have germs and things. Embarrassment is when something you've done wrong is shared publicly. And this is a really painful emotion. I remember this happening to me when I was a school child and I still feel hurt about it. So protect children from embarrassment. Talk about what they did well. Help them, to help them to feel special. And help teenagers to understand how painful it is when they embarrass each other on social media. Some children and teenagers have been so embarrassed they have committed suicide. So it can be very dangerous. We don't know how much that person is suffering already.
So be kind. Când ai inită dașul din mir. Fear is feeling something's going to happen that I can't handle very well. Frigăște emoționii, da, e gerve ce ne dieme ce nu mută păr valoare. And our fears are based on experiences that we've had in life. Edhe zakonisht janë bazuar në përvoja tona, në të kaluarën. And it doesn't help to tease someone and say, oh, you're stupid to be afraid of that. Edhe nuk dihmon fare, kure nga të smoni tjede duke se në po, ti e budal fare pse e keni frik prej kësaj gjëje. Because the fear is not just in your mind. Sepse frika nuk është vetem të mandje jote. When we experience intense fear, our whole body feels it. Kur ne djeme një frik të fort, gjith trupi e ndjenate. And your body says, run away. Edhe trupi i të sot vrapo, dërgo. Or freeze, don't move. Ose griu, mos të vizë. And the best you can do when someone is afraid is to, to love them and be there for them, care for them. Then we have frustration. I imagine every single one of you gets frustrated. <laughs> Unë e di e besoj që gjithë prej ju shkeni përjetuar këte. When you have a plan and somebody interrupts it. Kur keni një plan edhe dikush vjen edhe ndërpret. When someone is critical of you and you're doing your best. Ose kur keni bërë me të mjera në tuaj edhe dikush vjen dhe ju kritikon. And how can we manage frustration? Si ta menagjojme të atërim. It usually helps to take a deep breath and calm down so your brain can think of another idea. Or ask someone to help you. So I'm just giving you a few tiny ideas here. So you should idet the bogla dimuese. So guilt is when we know we've done something wrong and we feel really bad about it. Faj është kur djeni pendim trishtuar për gjithë për diçka që keni bërë keqë. And actually, whenever we have broken a relationship in some way, zakonisht kur kemi thyër, kemi prishur mardhenje me dike, It's really important to mend that relationship the same day. Or at least reach out and show you care and you want to mend things sometime. Because we're currently learning that if you go to sleep at night with a broken relationship in your life, uh, psychologists are uh, discovering this. Researchers, researchers are discovering. Studios, psychologists, kalojme natën pas një mardhenje të thyër, të prishur. That brokenness goes deeper into your brain when you sleep and causes anxiety and depression. Kjo gjitha kjo faje ose diçka e që keni bërë, ju shkon brënda thell, thell, thell në trup, edhe pastaj kryon angsin dhe depresionin. So it's important to try and mend relationships so that children or teenagers or whoever doesn't have that hurt going into their brain. 
edhe prandaj mesoni si të regullojni marzënjet me njëri tjetërën në mënyrë që fëmijet dhe adolescentet të mos kenë këtë nëndim të thell brenda trurit që të mos bëhe me angësë dhe depresion. And we have sadness. Feeling of loss or helplessness. Feeling uh, alone or misunderstood. And when children especially are sad, they need to experience comfort. Kur femijet janë të trishtuar, ata kanë nevoj të përjetojnë në gushëllim. Someone to come with them, to care for them, to show them some love. Që dikush të vi të përqëfoj të tregoj të ashuri. Because we now know through research that when we comfort those who are sad, Tani, në përmjet studimeve, ne kemi zbuluar që ku ne ngushëllojme të tjerët. It teaches the brain empathy and compassion for others. Teaches to the person who gets to receive comfort. Yeah, yeah, it helps their brain, particularly young children. The comfort helps their brain. Pra, kur ne tregojme ngushëllojme, kur ne ngushëllojme fëmijen për shambu, a dhe herë fëmija, kur që ka marë gushëllimin, a i aty trurje ti zhvillon empatin, a i pas taj do jeti akë për gushëtuar dhe tjeret. And that's especially in the first three years of life. Dhe kjo është si do mos në tre vitet e partë të jetës. So when we comfort babies and little children when they cry, we teach their brains to calm down on their own. Edhe kur ne marim në kragu, shëllojme bebit të qëqajnë, ne i mesojme se si ta qëtësohen vetë. And we strengthen the compassion in their brain for others. Dhe forcojme dhe mshuri për të tjerët në trurit e tyre. And if children do not get comforted for their sadness in the first three years, Dhe në qofse nuk e marin brenda tre vitet e para të jetës këtë ngushëllim. The brain rewires itself when the child is about three. Adhe herë, kur fëmija bë tre vjeqë, adhe herë truri riformohet, si të mund të them, bë lizjet në dryshe. And the brain scans show that where there should be centers of empathy, There is just a black hole. Edhe atë herë, në qose marim një grafi i truri, atë herë e shofim që në qendra, në ato pika, ku duhet të jetë empatia, aty janë thjeshtë vrima të zezët. It's quite frightening to see. E shume frishme të shofim. But we didn't know that until now when we can see the effect on children's brains through the scan. Edhe ne nuk e dime këta, por ta një e dime se pse e kemi par efektin. So for many years we said, little boys, don't cry, be strong. Për shumë vite kemi thënë qunëve si do mos, mos shaj t'i e qunë. Because we wanted them to be strong soldiers and heroes sepse dëshiruam që ata të bëhen ushtar, herojnë. But they need to learn compassion for others or they can become violent and aggressive adults. Por ata duhet të mesojnë se si të ngushëllojnë, sepse ndryshe do të bënë, do të rriten, do të bënë njërës të dhumshëm. It's more important than we thought to comfort crying children. Pra, është me rëndësishme se që me nduam kjo gjë të ngushëllosh bebet. And then there's shame, and people who are shamed again need to be encouraged. Turpi, prap një djenjë negative, dhe aty njerës ka nevoj për 
in Kurayim. They need to feel that they are special. So lift people up, lift children up and tell them something amazing you have seen in them. And then there's stress. Mm -hmm. uh, and we all know stress. And we all have our different ways of dealing with that too. But the good news is there are also many positive emotions. And we're going to look at the 10 most common positive ones. And here they are, you can read them out. So let's have a look at the good ones. Well, one of them is laughter. Just, just having fun, a good giggle. Or so it's laughing at something unusual, a funny animal, a funny video. And it's really important to put laughter into your classroom, into your family and your relationships. When children laugh, they learn better. So that some teachers who know this make sure their class laughs before they teach them anything. So make, make a list of funny things you can do in the classroom to help change the atmosphere. In my home, when our children were here, we would share the funniest thing that happened every day. Another positive emotion is awe and wonder. Uh, that's looking at something in nature and going, wow, that's incredible. So help children to experience nature and explore it. Help them to slow down and really look at how a snail moves or a flower. Ask them to look at something like a tree or an animal and discover something they have never seen before. If you have small children, have a basket in your classroom of nature objects for them to look at. Or 
or bring things into the classroom for them to explore. Eu multa Silvia de to obiecte naturas ne class ce femia ta exploran. Thankfulness is a really good positive emotion. Ne njohjesh ni dien reguoshme. The brain cannot feel anxious and grateful at the same time. Es interesant, fakt interesant ce truri nu munta dien anxin de mi njohjen ne te njetin ko. So if you're feeling anxious and worried, stop. It's okay. <laughs> so then just think of 10 things you're thankful for. Uh, Pra mendoni per diet jara che yeni falendruas. And you will start to feel better. And the do di yeni mamir. As the shitsimi, the chose yeni shitsuar, pra. As the do ta wenimino shitsimi. Sorry. It's okay. Ask the children to write down the alphabet and write one thing they're thankful for for pra. each letter. Uh, ni, um, uh, the tür interesant ist da kerkoni familie to schuhe in alphabetin edhe kshune kolon edhe pasta ne stil edhe pasta che per ta skruai per gjdo shtron te alfabetit ni gja per cilen jan te mirnjohur mirnjohes jan falenderues or have a board in the classroom where children can write what they're thankful for today Ose zakon një vend të kdrasa, ku femijet mund të vine dhe të shkrua e në gjëra për cilet janë falenderues. Or at the end of the day, to name one thing they're thankful for in the day they just had. Ose dhe fund të ditës kërponi se cili të thot një gjë për cilet në shkrua e falenderues. Hope is really important. Shpresa është vërtet shumë e rëndësishme. Children need to know that there is hope in their life. Femije duhet të din që ka një shpres në jetë. They can be, they can feel optimistic that they can get better, they can learn this. Ata duhet jenë optimist të të din që ata mund të meson më mirë, ata mund të bëhen më mirë. It's important for them always to have something to look forward to. So what can the children in your classroom look forward to at the end of the day or at the end of the week? Uh, ask children? Yeah, yeah. Or, or plan something that they can look forward to in the class. Ah. Uh, so have something, have something fun to look forward to or a little celebration, just something really tiny. Because when we have something to look forward to, it helps us when things are difficult. And then there is inspiration. What inspires you? Who inspires you? It's really good for children to have heroes and role models that inspire them. Maybe as a tennis player or a musician or an actor. Or someone who's really kind. 
ose një njeri që është vërtet shumë i mirë, shumë i dashur. Someone in their life that they say, I want to be like them. Duhet e jetë një person që ata të thonë, o, unë duhet të bëm si a i, ose a jo. I want to work harder at playing the piano so I can be a great musician. Oh, unë duhet të mesoj të bje pianos po si kjoj person për shumë. So help children find someone or something that inspires them. Timoni për mjeve që të gjenë një person të cilë në të shokin si shëmbu. Something else that helps us with our emotions is having a really good hobby. Një tjetër gjë që në dimon ne të menëgjoj me emocionet është interesit. Because... është po, si hobby. What we need is something that takes all of our attention so we forget the other stuff in our life. Pra, hobby duhet jetë diqka që kur ne bëjme, ne përqëndrojme atë shumë të kjo gjë që harojme gjithë të gjërat të tjera, duke pënachur me atë që përbëjme. So what are your favorite hobbies and how can you enjoy them? Cili është hobby ju e preferuar? Si e shioni atë? What are the positive feelings you have when you do your hobby? Qarë emocion e pozitivë për jetoni kur mereni me hobby në tuaj? How does it bring you joy? Se ju si el gazim kjo në jetën të uaj. So children need to all find a hobby that they love. Dhe gjithë fëmija duhet të gjenë një hobby për diqka që kanë qefë të bëjme. And at school we can give them different opportunities to experience different hobbies. Edhe në shkohë si mesuas në mund të japi mundësi të ndryshme për të zbuluar hobby të ndryshme. You want something that they have to focus on so much, it pushes out all the negative feelings and thoughts. Duhet të jetë diqka që tërheq gjithë vëmendin e tyre në mënyrë që ata harojnë për gjitha emocione negative, gjithka të keqë që kanë dodo në jetën e tyre. It can be a game, a puzzle, something creative, a sport. Mund të jetë një loj, një puzzle, një diqka lojra sporti. And you can tell them, just go, just go and do some of your hobby for a while and take some time out to feel better. Edhe, kur femijet janë mërzitur, ne mund të themi shko, meru një qik me hobby në të andë, meru një qik kohën. Another good feeling that we have is obviously joy. Një tjetër djenje shumë pozitive, pa tjetër është gëzimi. And we feel happy, but it's not necessarily funny, we just feel joy. Gëzimi nuk është diqka që se zbën që ne jemi duke qeshur, por gëzimi si është që ndihemi mirë, jemi dumpur. I want you to... I want you to think right now of the happiest moment in the last week. Uh, you're going to share? No, no. Uh, they, no. They just get them to think. Ah, ah, you, ah, you want them to think. Mendoni pa për një gjë shumë gëzuar që ka ndodhur juve gjatë javës ka ndodhur. It's good to remember those times. Êshtë mirë të kujtojme të ruajmë në kujtesën tonë të momente pozitive gëzuara. Ask the children or your students to recall their happiest moment in the week. Kërkoni që në zënësit të tuaj gjithashtu të tajdojnë kohë duke kujtuar gjërat pozitive gëzuara dhe javës të tuaj. You can perhaps use it as a writing activity. Or you can get your students to tell each other the happiest moment in their week. And teach them to say whatever the other person says. Edhe me soni atyre që qëfar thot partneri? Hey, that was amazing. I'm so glad that you had that experience. Që ata ta 
shprehi në përgjigjen da e këtyre përjetimi gëzuar e përshkruar, ta për, përgjigjen me, wow, kjo është shumë bukur, jam shumë gëzuar për ty. Because when we share a joy, that joy becomes doubled when the other person shares it well. Another good feeling is that I have a sense of purpose. I am valuable. It's not an empty kind of pride. It's just a knowledge that what I do is valued by others. And it's so important when we tell our children and students when you did that, that was really special for me. It's good for you and for your students at the end of the day. To think what went well. And list three things that went well today. Because at the end of the day, it's so easy for children to remember just their failures. And to go home from school discouraged. Or go to bed and think of all the terrible things that happened. And we can do that as well. We often do the same. And it might be that 90% of your day you did really well. Maybe even 99%. But you remember the one thing that went wrong. And you say, oh, that day was terrible. And then you go to bed feeling sad and useless. So write down three things that went well. And be glad of them. I work with families that are often very troubled. And sometimes a mother will say to me, I am just such a useless mother. There is a book this thick of how bad I am as a mother. So I say, well, at the end of the day, think of three things you did well. I never do three things well. So tell me, at the end of the day, are your children still alive? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I've been a mother. I know how hard that is some days. <laughs> Did you feed them today? Yes. Oh. 
Well, that's amazing. That's difficult to. And where are they now? Are they still? Are they um asleep in bed? The kuyana tata ni ayan de krevate te tyre. Well, that's another great achievement. At the end of the day, they're alive, they were fed, and they're now in bed asleep. That's amazing. Then there's serenity, feeling peaceful. <clears throat> and actually, it's good if Classrooms can have a little peaceful corner for children these days. Uh, ne klaset, uh, tani kan, uh, ni, uh, kand, uh, uh, e I've helped some schools make peaceful corners in the school where children can go and be quiet for a little while. Uh, because some children can be very overwhelmed by lots of stimulation. And it's exhausting for them. And they can't learn. And so they need a place so they can just go and be quiet sometimes. When I was a young mum with three children, I learned a secret that helped to calm me down. Because one very stressful day, I walked out into the garden. And I found the children's pot of bubbles that you blow. I now know that is a very calming way to breathe. If you can give children bubbles to blow, or if you blow them yourself, it will help you to calm down. Uh, and sometimes when I'm stressed and I don't have bubbles, I still breathe the same way. You can do it right where you are right now. <laughs> Try it. Take a deep breath. <gasps> and then blow out the bubbles. And then watch them float away. <laughs> and if I do that three times, I am much calmer. So what calms you down, what calms the children or your students down? So that you can help a stressed child to feel peaceful again. Like smelling lavender and oranges or having their hands... Or watching fish swim or listening to quiet music. Or And take a time for a quiet moment for yourself every day, even if it's just five minutes. Some 
So love is experiencing all these other wonderful positive emotions in a caring relationship. Pra, dashuria. Dashuria është përzirë shumë e me emocioneve të tjera pozitive në marrëdhënia të të mira të përkujdesi me përkujdesi. What helps you to feel loved? Çfarë ju bën ju të dijeni që ju duan? Maybe it's kind words or being helped by somebody. Maybe you like a thoughtful, tiny gift. My husband gives me a little chocolate at the end of the day. We share it and that feels special. Maybe you like someone to spend time with you or give you a hug. We now know that doing something kind for someone else is in many cases of depression in many, in many cases, uh, in, in, um, is better than medicine and counseling. Uh, depression kur ai përpiqet ta bëj gjëra të mira të dashura të të njerëzve të tjerë kjo e shëron so encourage the children in your classrooms to do kind things for each other uh, pra inkurajoni fëmijët në klasat tuaj që ata ta bëjnë gjëra të mira ndaj njerëzit tjetër ndaj njerëzve të tjerë i was in a school where the teacher has a big um, jar on her desk and a big basket of buttons. And every time one of the children in the class experiences someone being kind to them, they put a button into the jar. And when that jar is full, the teacher plans a special treat. Uh, and she says just this simple thing has changed the atmosphere in the classroom. And you can help the students to think of creative ways they could do kind things for each other. It's one of the most important character strengths and things we can encourage children to do. Uh, to develop. Kindness is the most important thing to encourage them to develop. Pra, mirësia, kjo është një gjë më rëndësishme që duhet të inkurajojme, të zhvillojme në fëmijët. Because it's so good for their well-being. And it also is good for the well-being of everybody else around them. It helps them to... So make a list of all the many ways that um, people can be kind and do them as often as they can.
because kindness gives other people positive emotions as well as us. Sepse mirësia krijon emocione pozitive tek njerës të tjerë, edhe gjithashtu tek ne që e bëjme. So these are the 10 positive emotions that are important for us to experience. Pra, këto ishin 10 emocione pozitive që janë të rëndësishme që të përjetojme. And at the end of the day, when I'm coming home from work, I think, hmm, how am I feeling right now? Quite stressed. I am stressed. Maybe a bit frustrated today. So on the bus, on the way home, I rebalance my emotions. Perhaps I look at my phone and find a funny picture. I have a big folder on there somewhere. <laughs> So I smile at them. And then I try to say thank you for 10 things that are a bit unusual in some way. Maybe ten things, ten things in my kitchen or ten things I can see at the window. And then I get off my bus one stop earlier. Uh, because when I get off there, my walk home is much quieter and prettier. And I can look in the gardens for something that fills me with wonder. And by choosing to think about these things, my stress level lowers and I feel much better by the time I get home. You can even make yourself a little basket or box where you put things in to help you experience these emotions. They put things in like their favorite drink, um, a funny book, um, a hobby, some hand cream, some bubbles. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. So then when you when you are tired and fed up, you can pick up the basket and choose something to do. There's no question that life on this earth has got a lot of challenges. But there's also a lot of beautiful things, good things. 
and we can choose what we focus on. Edhe ne mund ta përqend, mund ta zgjidhim se ku do ta përqendrohemi. Because if we only focus on the dark things, all we will see are dark things. Sepse në qëse ne përqendrohem vetëm të gjërat e erta, të mërzishme, atëherë aty do shkoj syrë, do, do mendojmë vetëm për ato. And we may forget that that dark place is just in the very middle of this picture, at the bottom. And we can keep looking at that dark space, or we can look at all the wonderful things that are also... And we can help to rebalance by focusing on these good and beautiful things. So we can choose to laugh, to be filled with wonder and have these lovely experiences, even when life is challenging. It's our choice. What will you choose? And what will you help? the people in your family and the students in your classes and the children to choose. Because you can take some of these simple ideas into the classroom and help to transform children's lives. I know that for me it has transformed my life. I'm a different person now. And I am much more positive and joyful and nicer to be around. And so I'm very happy to share these well-researched ideas with you too.